So my song is from Brazil. It's called Baiana, and it's a folk song, usually done in a small setting, a small circle. The Joda is the circle, as you probably remember from the capoeira unit. Uh, this is talking about a archetypal or mythical character called the Bayana. And Bayana is referring to a woman It's in a marketplace, probably selling goods, selling fruit or baked goods. And she's very fun-loving, very flirtatious, kind of like a gypsy character. And she usually dresses with headscarves and flowing clothes and really colorful. So I'll talk a little bit about how you can use that uh, as, the, as your program or part of your program a little bit later when we talk about how to perform it. But this is what it sounds like. It uses the C chord. This particular arrangement uses C, F, and G7. And those are the three chords. And it sounds like this. And you can do this with a samba. Samba, Rocha da Roda, me diz que bomba. Baiana boa, gostar de samba, gostar da Roda, me diz que bomba. Again, e Baiana, so this is the A section. E Baiana, we repeat this twice. Baiana boa, Baiana boa, Baiana boa, Baiana boa, Baiana boa, or ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba. Okay, so a couple modifications to make it easy. Uh, I like to have kids first just listen to the song, and then I ask them to sing the a or the a. And, you know, we're not really focusing on pitch at that point, just to get into the sound, get into the feel, uh, to say, hey, you know, make a sound. And then you can refine that, dial in the pitches later. Uh, the first time we do B section, I just have them do something on their bodies or stamping with bum, bum, bum. So I handle all the song part. And then if you want to have them uh, learn more of the song, you can start off with just having them do a vocal ba 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 mm 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 ba 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 and then add in Bayana Boa, maybe repeat that, and then you can get into the other lyrics which are a little bit more, a uh, little bit more involved. But the song is basically talking about the Bayana character, the words in the B section are more descriptive of course, the first part is just saying Bayana and with a couple vowel sounds. Uh, Bayana Boa, beautiful Bayana. Boa is like bo in French or bonita in Spanish. Uh, gosta da joda or gosta da samba, she likes the samba, the dance. Gosta da joda, she likes the circle, meaning she likes to be center of attention. And edish que bomba, like she's the bomb or she's happening. All right, so this is a chance for students to show off. I always ask them to, uh, you know, bust a move do whatever they want to do to have fun, you know, make it big. This is about really being big. So it's a great song you can talk about that they get to all be bayanas, which means they have permission to go a little bit crazy. Um, of course, you're going to have to separate your boys from forming packs. But um, you could have, for example, A section could be a group dance that they make up, either in small groups or even in pairs. Uh, and then B section, I have them do their own thing, maybe strike a pose on the bump, 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 bump. So there's lots of ways you can do it. Hand out scarves, get them going with that. They're going to have a great time. Uh, if you can keep the boys from dressing up like ninjas, good luck with that. But uh, this song's really fun. Bayana from Northern Brazil. I learned this from a friend of mine, Katja Moraes, who's uh, a singer from Brazil. So there's more to this song. You can probably find it by searching online. Uh, but this, the next part is pretty complicated, a, lot, a little bit harder to sing, moves really fast melodically. So I like to use this one. You can do it with a basic samba, you can do it with a bayon even, if you want to slow it down a little bit. You could um, also teach some basic dance steps for samba. 
there's a few, lots of examples online, so you can take it any direction you want, all right? So have fun with that. And um, it uses the C, F, and G7 chords. Also, one last thing, I like to, I think it's a great connection for the ukulele because the ukulele was brought, of course, to the Hawaiian Islands by the Portuguese. There was an instrument that's a predecessor to the ukulele. And the same instrument was taken to Brazil, and in Brazil it became the cavaquinho. So it's really appropriate to play the ukulele, have the ukulele sound with this particular song. So that's a nice cross-cultural connection. All right, enjoy. Thanks for watching.